And now weather with meteorologist Alisa Rafa, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Good morning. We are starting out warm and quiet in Springfield. It is 74 degrees down on the square with some southerly winds at 10 miles per hour and dew points in the upper 60s and lower 70s. So again, it's pretty warm, thick and humid out there this morning. We've got some partly to mostly cloudy skies. Most of us are dry. We do have a few storms left over from uh, yesterday evening. Some isolated storms bubbling up near Lebanon, Lake of the Ozarks and Rolla with some locally heavy rain and lightning. You can see they're very spotty in nature. Most of us are dry, but under these storms, you've got some uh, very heavy rain and intense lightning there this morning. Other than those uh, little spots there, you are quiet and dry to start your morning. So we've got this front nearby. You've got a much bigger cluster of showers and storms up near Nebraska and Kansas. And what we'll find as we head through the day today is some more cloud cover uh, than we had over the weekend. So partly to mostly cloudy skies. A couple of showers and storms will be possible, especially once you get things to be pretty hot and humid. They'll bubble up on the heat and humidity. And any stronger storms could be capable of damaging winds or large hail. We've got a marginal risk uh, for our Missouri counties for that threat. Again, we're not really looking at organized severe weather. It's just if one of these storms can grow tall enough, you might have some quarter size hail or 60 mile per hour winds, but that threat overall is pretty low. So hour by hour, again, a couple of showers and storms possible today. Temperatures will be hot, but not as extreme. You're looking at highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s. We dry out tonight. Uh, temperatures staying muggy in the 70s. Another round of some showers and storms possible tomorrow, again with highs in the upper 80s. So what's happening as we had through much of this work week is you've got a little dip in the jet stream or that path, the storminess, which brings some healthier rain chances and some more clouds. So this will be similar to early last week where it's still hot, highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s, but you'll have some more clouds and storms around. Looking ahead towards the weekend, that big area of high pressure, that dome of heat and humidity returns, it builds back in, so that heat gets extreme again. So here's what to expect. You've got a chance of some storms daily through Thursday. It will be hot, uh, but not as extreme. It will be pretty close to our average with highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s. Storm chances start to dwindle as you head towards the end of the week with high pressure returning on Friday. That's going to bring back the extreme heat again as we head towards the weekend with temperatures in the middle 90s to feeling like 105. So we'll probably have another round of heat advisories by the weekend. Here are those temperatures staying pretty high. Our average is 89 degrees, so we're pretty close to average through about 30 they still hot with highs around 90. Then the more extreme heat builds again by the weekend with highs back in the middle 90s. 91 degrees out there today will be partly cloudy with a couple of showers and storms possible. Warm and muggy overnight, 71 degrees there. Uh, 89 degrees tomorrow, partly cloudy with some showers and storms possible. Stays a little bit unsettled with a few storms possible daily again through Thursday. Temperatures around 90 degrees. More sunshine Friday into the weekend as that dome of heat and humidity comes back. Highs return into the middle 90s.